bottom of my mountain. I'm going to pull the blue down to the left. Just pull it down, get it to blend a little together. And then pull some of the white down too as well. Just at the bottom, pull it down into that blue. Now lightly blend the bottom portion of the mountain. Just blend it in. Very good. If you, the more you blend it, the more it'll push that thing back. But I want this to be distinct in the middle. I'm trying to make this the focal point. All right, there we go. That looks pretty good so far. Uh, 18 minutes. I'm going to have to hurry up now. I keep, usually keep, try and keep my blender brush away from my other brushes so it doesn't end up being a paintbrush. But there's my mountain and clouds. Wow, looks amazing. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay some uh, water down here now. I'm going to use the blue color that I used on the mountain here, okay? And uh, I don't know how much water I'm going to have. Maybe, maybe we can have a river shooting through here like this from way over here, okay? And then I can line... Uh, some trees on the river. That looks kind of cool, I think. Uh, and then have ground down here. I'm going to put a, a, a yellow ochre color with this blue. Yeah. So I'm just going to get a little yellow ochre on my brush and put it underneath this mountain here. So it adds some color to the painting. Uh, straight yellow ochre. Just like that. And maybe a little hint of it just here at the bottom of the river. Grab your blender brush and right at where the mountain and the yellow ochre is touching, let's blend that down with your brush. Just take your brush and blend it in there with it into the mountain. Just like that. Make it turn like a golden color. That looks cool. Alright, I'm not going to use my... Uh, I'm going to use a... Uh, a one inch brush and run some trees now across here. I have a uh, sap green that I mix some black with it, okay, to make it darker. So I'm just gonna use that. I'm just gonna get my brush wet. Maybe I'll start with the bigger trees here first. I'm gonna have them come from here and go down and get smaller, so. What I'm going to do is stamp in the top parts of trees here. And then I'm trying to push it in there and get smaller at the end over here. Really small. 
and then bring it bring it down keep stamping it the color down to the water Very good. I like that. I'm going to try and use uh, do, do, do. I don't have any. Uh, I'm going to use uh, burnt umber. I'm going to have to squeeze a little out. I'm going to put dirt down here. So I'm going to use the burnt umber. I use that same brush I just did the trees with just going to wipe it off dip into my linseed oil a little bit and grab some of that uh, burnt umber and put some dirt down here at the water the water's edge just be loose with your brush just throw it in there i'm going to throw in some different colors in there with the Might be able to turn some of this into uh, like some rocks and stuff. We'll see what happens. Just get loose with it. I'll try a little bit of Payne's Gray in there to darken it up in some spots. Maybe get some shadows going. Very good. I like that. I'm going to have to hurry. Let me see. I don't want this to be... It's already going to be a long video. I think I used to paint faster when I first started making these videos, but... Because, you know, nowadays, uh, everybody's into watching shorts, but I guess it depends on what you're trying to accomplish, you know. But if you like watching me paint, that's fine. You should, uh, it doesn't cost much to buy uh, oil paint and stuff. And the oil paint, man, that, a tube lasts for a long time. I think I've had some of these tubes I've had for years and years, you know, they just they last forever. You only got to squeeze a little bit of oil out each painting, so it's not that expensive. So you can actually uh, add some uh, evergreen trees to the scene behind those trees like that and then just get smaller as you uh, come down this way so we get the illusion of distance here okay put a big one over here on the edge look at that how easy it is to make those trees it's kind of cool I really like landscapes. Uh, I've been painting them for a while now. I don't get tired of them because almost every single one comes out a little different. Because I use different colors. The mountains always come out different. Uh, I try and do them different, you know, every time. So now what I'm going to do is I'm not even going to lay bushes down here. I'm going to go ahead and throw a tree in first a nice tall tree over the side of this mountain pretty much all the way down okay and I'm going to uh, use the corner of my brush and stamp in my uh, 
branches. Today I'm going to kind of turn the brush at an angle, okay, and punch them in at a, like a side, like an angle sideways, okay, to get a different look on the tree. I usually do it uh, straight across, but today I'm going angling it. I usually get down to the bottom and then I look at it to see what it needs. I'll put some more paint on my brush and then I'll adjust the uh, branches below here. Okay, fill it in a bit at the bottom. It looks good. It's a nice cool tree. I'll probably put some bushes in front of it. Uh, I'm going to put some bushes out here on the water in a few places. Just like that. Just stamp them in. Uh, wipe your brush off, your fan brush, and now underneath these bushes you just made, just pull the color to the left. Just like that. Okay. You're going to create some hills in here. Okay, see that? Pretty cool. It's looking good. I like it. Uh, let's uh, at the bottom of your trees here. Take your fan brush and let's pull some of that color out into the water. Okay, just to create some ground there. Not so much over here, but over here you can get a little bigger now put a little bit of yellow ochre on your brush dip into your linseed oil grab some yellow ochre and put that yellow ochre on top of the green that you just pulled out okay just like that It'll kind of make it look like a beach down there, okay? You can play around down here with uh, some colors. I'm not going to do much for the video, but just, like, throw, throw in some different colors down in your dirt here, okay? Just so you have different colors. On your bushes, take your fan brush. Use the corner of it. Don't use the whole brush. Use the corner. And you can flick, flick these up. Okay? Just a little. Use the corner, though. Just flick them up just a little. It's going to make them look like, more like... Uh, there's branches on it, okay? Just like that. I really like that. Let's see where I'm sitting. 31 minutes. Took a little longer than I wanted, but that's all right. <clears throat> I'm going to do a, uh, a bush in front of my tree now. And then highlight it. Put a few birds up there and then I'm done. So I'm going to use... Uh, I use a yellow ochre. To highlight these bushes down here. Maybe I'll turn it into grass instead. So 
pick a spot and then just come all the way across. And then leave some of this dark in there, okay? It'll look like, uh, it'll look like grass, okay? Just like that, with the same thing with your, uh, your fan brush with the corner of it, lift up very carefully, just a little. You don't want to cover up this black here. Just barely flick it up. And look at that. We got some cool grass down here. You can pull some of the ground underneath it to the left a little. Just like that. Doesn't that look cool? All right, people. Let me uh, try and knock some of this wetness down. Sometimes if you use too much linseed oil, it'll get wet. Just come in here and with a, a dry brush and stamp it down. Get rid of the oil uh, wetness. Just like that, okay? And put a point, put a point down that tree. And I'll probably, I'm going to end the video, but I'll probably put a few more trees in here. Probably a smaller one here, another big one here. But let me put some birds up there. The birds are cool because it, uh, it'll make the sky look like, uh, there's movement going on up in the sky, so. It didn't turn out the way uh, I was thinking, but I kind of like it still. I wanted this to be the focal point, so I should have put maybe another tree here but see how cool it looks with birds in there all right there you go nice simple painting there if you like that design give it a try and uh thanks for subscribing and we'll see you in the next uh, video Cheers.